Shavua Tov and welcome to the Women's Jewish Learning Center weekly two minutes of Torah. This week we begin reading the Torah again and we start with the first Parsha in the book of Genesis, Parshat Breshit. When we reach chapter three of the book, everything seems to fall apart in the story of Adam and Eve. What was once the beautifully ordered world of chapter one now is transformed into the very messy world of human limitations and divine disappointments. In God's punishment of the woman, God says to her, I will greatly increase your pains in childbearing. With pain, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. It's not only that in order to bring new life into the world, the women will now experience pain and labor. Now, what happened in the garden is much more fundamental. The relationship between the genders will no longer be one of mutuality and equality. If, as the saying goes, it's a man's world out there, what the Torah is telling us is that that reality, woman's desire for man and man dominating, that reality has a long history, almost as old as the created world itself. But happily, the story doesn't end there. In the Song of Songs, we find an almost exact repetition of the words, your desire will be for him, for your husband, but turned around. In the Song of Songs, which also takes place in a garden, the woman speaks of her male lover and she says, his desire is for me. So in Genesis, the woman's desire is for the man. And in the Song of Songs, the man's desire is for the woman as well. The reality of gender relations that takes place after the Garden of Eden seems to be repaired in the Garden of the Song of Songs, where relations between the genders will be mutual, equal, passionate, and unembarrassed. So what is the Torah teaching us? First, that what we mess up, we can fix. And secondly, the Torah shows us both the reality as it is and the reality as it could and should be. The Garden of Eden, where man rules, is very much the case in our world today, although great progress has been made toward equality. But the Garden of the Song of Songs shows us the way relations between the genders should be, equal, mutual, and unembarrassed. So may it be Shavuot Tov.